Um, so hello, my name is Grace Power. I'm a medical student at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, my preceptor for this project um, was Dr. Satvinder Gotra. Um, and the title of my presentation is Formula Feeding Significantly Increases Risk of Iron Deficiency in Very Preterm Infants During the First Four to Six Months of Life. So a little bit of background. So this is, we know that preterm infants are at increased risk for developing iron deficiency. And this is really important because iron deficiency in infancy, even if it's corrected, is associated with developmental and behavioral problems later on in life. So that's well documented. Um, and then breastfed preterm infants in particular are considered at increased risk of iron deficiency because breast milk has a much lower iron content um, compared with standard infant formula. So iron supplementation is considered standard of care for breastfed preterm infants across the board. Um, but um, recommendations for iron supplementation for formula fed preterm infants aren't very clear. Um, they vary across different professional bodies. And there's very little research right now looking at how feeding type relates to iron deficiency in preterm infants and specifically in the very preterm infants that we looked at in this study. Um, so for example, the Canadian Pediatric Society guidelines from 2019 recommend that breastfed preterm infants should receive iron supplementation of around two to three milligrams per kilogram per day to meet their needs. but um, formula fed infants are said to sort of receive two to three milligrams per kilogram per day um, of iron from formula and so the Canadian Pediatric Society says they don't need iron supplementation. Um, the guideline lacks strong scientific evidence so it's based on kind of professional opinion and, and what clinicians um, say works. Um, and then the American Academy of Pediatrics doesn't provide any recommendations either way because they say there's not really enough evidence either way um, for iron supplementation in these formula-fed preterm infants. So our objective of this study was to look at how the type of feeding influences the iron status of very preterm infants at four to six months of corrected age. So we looked at all very preterm infants, so that means any infant born less than 31 weeks gestation who was born in Nova Scotia between 2005 and 2018. So all infants in Nova Scotia um, are followed when they're preterm are followed by the perinatal follow-up program, which goes through the IWK Health Center in Halifax. Um, so that's how we know we sort of gathered all the infants um, in this category. Um, and then we obtain the information through that provincial database, as well as from patient charts in the IWK. Um, so our predictor variables were feeding types, so were they breastfed or were they formula fed, and um, how much iron they received each day from formula and supplements combined. And then our outcome was the presence of iron deficiency at four to six months from the mother's due date, so corrected age. Um, and then results, that's really tiny, sorry. Um, it was, we had 392 infants um, born between 23 and 30 weeks gestational age. 285, so around three quarters, were formula fed with iron rich formula. And then 107, so around one quarter, were either exclusively or partially breastfed. And what we found was that the formula fed infants from iron and from iron from formula and supplements together, um, actually received on average 2.59 milligrams per kilogram per day of iron, as opposed to the breastfed infants who only received 2.02. .02. So the formula-fed infants, um, on average, received more iron than the breastfed infants, and that was a, a statistically significant result. Um, and then. Uh, Contrasting that with the number of formula-fed infants who actually had iron deficiency, so 36.8% of our formula-fed infants were iron deficient, as opposed to 20.6% of the breastfed infants, and that was also a statistically significant result. So um, essentially, formula-fed infants were receiving more iron each day, but were actually more iron deficient and had a higher prevalence of iron deficiency on average. Um, and kind of 
just to look at the Canadian Pediatric Society guidelines, which say, okay, formula-fed infants are going to receive two to three milligrams per kilogram per day based on formula alone. Um, we actually found that, oh dear, this should have percentages, sorry. Um, around 80% of our um, uh, formula-fed infants actually were receiving less than two milligrams per kilogram per day. And then around 20% um, were receiving what was assumed they were receiving from formula. So that's at least two milligrams per kilogram per day. Um, so um, that really doesn't kind of support this assumption of the guidelines that says, you know, they're receiving enough iron already. Um, and then as kind of a secondary objective to this study, we looked at risk factors for iron deficiency in the formula fed very preterm infants specifically. So those were found to be on regression analysis, lower birth rate, so birth rate less than 1,100 grams, younger gestational age, so gestational age less than 28 weeks, and need for blood transfusions during their hospital stay. So um, what can we conclude? So we can conclude that most, so 80% of formula fed very preterm infants actually failed to receive at least two to th two or yeah, at least two milligrams per kilogram per day from formula alone, which contradicts the supposition of the CPS guidelines. Um, and then that despite higher iron intake overall, iron deficiency is more prevalent in formula fed infants than in breastfed infants. And so this suggests a need to revisit the recommendations on iron supplementation in formula fed very preterm infants. Um, and so clinically, um, what does this mean? Um, it means that physicians should consider individual risk for iron deficiency when deciding whether and how to supplement these infants as opposed to just blindly following guidelines because we know that different infants are going to respond differently to um, iron supplementation and that iron deficiency is a significant problem in these infants. Um, so next steps, so we hypothesize, um, and this is kind of based on kind of past work and past hypotheses that iron from formula is not actually absorbed as well from, uh, as iron from breast milk. So there could be a lot of different reasons for this. Breast milk contains different hormones, um, lactoferrin being one of them, uh, but there's many more that may aid in iron absorption. So there's just a different chemical composition of breast milk that might help um, with iron absorption despite there being less iron overall. But we need more research um, to corroborate these findings. Um, we need you know, randomized control trials. Um, and we also need to study the bioavailability of iron from formula um, and how that works in these infants. So acknowledgements, um, funding, um, just a RIM summer, summer studentship from Dalhousie University, and then I'd also like to acknowledge all of my co-authors that helped with this project. Thank you, and happy to take questions at the end.